Now, just a reminder how things stand going into this clash. Real Madrid are kind of all but home and host, aren't they, with regards to winning La Liga. Barcelona sitting fourth, which is a long way from where they were, of course, earlier on in the season. We were questioning whether or not they would even finish in a Champions League place. But Xavi has come in and solidified this team, of course, with the important addition of some new faces. And this is what he had to say looking ahead to this game. Well, I would say for me it's, it's really special because it's a, it's a tough game, it's a complicated game for sure. Uh, playing away in, in Santiago Bernabeu Stadium is always, it's always really difficult, but we are ready, we are motivated. Um, uh, we're going we're gonna to attack, we're going to play uh, to get three points and we have to show personality, especially in this kind of, of Clásico, no? but for sure it will be really difficult. Let's take a look at the Barca starting at 11 then. Of course, no Serginho Des, the US international, picking up that hamstring injury in the Europa League tie against um, Galatasaray. It's Araujo that comes in, not Dani Alves. He'll be at the back with Pique, uh, Eric and Alba in the centre. The impressive Pedri along with Busquets and De Jong. And up front, it's Dembele. Just incredible soap opera surrounding the Frenchman over the last few weeks. He is impressed so much. Given the start then, alongside Aubameyang and Torres, both of which have hit the ground running since making those January transfer moves. They sure have. And let's just start with Araujo and, and as to why he's playing and not Dani Alves. Well, it's essentially a reaction to the possible transition by Real Madrid with Vinicius Jr. Who do you want marking Vinicius Jr. on a sprint? Dani Alves at 38 years old or Ronald Araujo and his physicality and speed? Well, I think the answer is very clear from Xavi's perspective. As to the front three, what I think is important from Xavi's perspective is that he's given this front three now continuity. He's been kind of mixing and matching a little bit and rotation and I like this matchup and I like that matchup and maybe we play Traore. No, no. Here, when it counts, when it matters, your most important game, you're going with the front three that you think is most productive. And that's Usmane Dembele, the goals of Obama Young, and the movement of Ferran Torres. They have been playing at a high level. And then the guys underneath have also been playing at a high level. Frankie de Jong has picked up his level of play. Busquets and his possession has been excellent, was excellent against Galatasaray. And of course, you know I love Mison Pedri. Mm -hmm. He's been excellent as well. This team from Barcelona is trending in the right direction. Now it's a matter of whether you can validate the things that you've been doing by getting a result today against Real Madrid. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.